Paul, um, not, not best pleased with your, uh, your team's performance on, on Sunday. I don't think anyone within our group is pleased with the way we've gone in the past two games. Our completion rates have been awful. It's uh, causing us concern and it's uh, stretching our defence systems and our defensive efforts to breaking point and beyond. And that's the bottom line of this. You know, we have a number of individuals who are not in the very best of form. Uh, their game is nowhere near it needs to be. Um, but we soldier on. You know, uh, if, if I wanted to make changes, I don't think it's there for us at this moment in time. But even so, I don't think it's the right thing to do. We just need to keep working hard, um, correcting some of the unforced errors that are killing us in games. Uh, and hopefully, we come out of a match where we're not doing 70% of... Uh, of our effort is is wasted in defence. Are you worried about the penalty count on this discipline? Well, the penalty count, believe it or not, is, is is falling dramatically. You know, we're down now to sixes and sevens a game. Uh, we'd rather it be none, but we've got to be very realistic under you know the modern kind of rules and scrutiny that uh, you know to get none in a game is very very difficult. Um, you know, we had a, a, a call of incidents at the weekend where we've gone a little bit high into the tackle and we had a player sent off and one sin bin etc. Um, which, which cost us, and it cost us quite badly when we wanted all our efforts and all our energies to, uh, to get back into you know, some form and win the game. Um, the issue isn't really discipline, we'd like it to be done, we'd like to keep improving it, we work very hard on those technical aspects. The issue is completion, and the vast majority of the mistakes that we made at the weekend were unforced errors, play one and play twos. Our kicking game was very poor, and uh, you know, we didn't, couldn't get any field position. You know, Wakefield have completed better than we did. They have certainly kicked through Danny Brough far better than we did, and thus then they've had better field position than we were able to get. You know, and uh, again we've stretched our defence systems to breaking point and beyond. And you know, that's the disappointment in, in the work that we've done in the past two games. That uh, the individual errors, and its lapses in concentration, the wrong decisions are costing their teammates. With reference to the energy we've got to waste now in defence, trying to catch up on it. How do you turn that around? You come up against Leeds uh, to come Friday and, and world champions and, and flying high, even though they had a bit of a blip at the uh, previous weekend. Well, they did, ha they did have a blip, uh, and to be fair, they weren't on their own, were they? You know, um, you know, take a quick glance at the league table. No one's running away with it. St Helens beaten by Castleford, quite unbelievably, uh, and Castleford, a team that's, that's also beaten St Helens. You know, so uh, the bottom team in the comp has beaten the last two best two teams by a country mile, and uh, it goes to prove if you're not quite right, you're going to get done. Um, you know, injuries aren't an excuse for us, the weather isn't an excuse, the pitches that we play on are not excuses, the referees who control the games are not excuses, our form isn't good enough and certainly hasn't been good enough in the past two games and that comes down to completion rate, the levels of concentration, the skill factor of a number of individuals whose uh, attempts to make the play are not at this moment in time matched by their skill level. You were looking for what's going to head in the and maybe giving the Rhinos uh, the usual good game that we, we got out there. Well, we can't wait, you know, we're in, a, we're, in a, we're in a little bit of a difficult situation, but, but so are an awful lot of other teams, you know. Um, unfortunately, um, we, we won't have you know, you know, young players like Stephen Pickersgill available this weekend. Unfortunately, we fear the worst. We, we think he's done his cruciate ligaments and we think he's done for the year. Um, you know, we're possibly going to be hit by suspensions, both Adrian Morley and Benny Westwood before the RFL uh, panel. Um, you know, and we've also got a very, very important game the following week against Lee in the Challenge Cup. You know, so all those will be factored in to our team selection and preparation for Leeds. But we go there looking to come home with two points. You know, it's it, it's, it's exciting times, and uh, the adrenaline really does buzz when, when things aren't going well for you. You know, so um, every team has gone through it so far. What we round eleven. Um, everyone's lot, lost at least a couple of games, including St Helens and including Leeds and including Bradford, including Wigan, including Warrington. Um, you know, so a lot of teams who are spending top end of salary cap uh, are not having it all their own way. But really, they're never going to this season, will they?